Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the new Hourglass Face Palette. This is the Jellyfish with the Jellyfish Color Story. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. So I'm going to jump right on into it. I'm going to zoom you up with some close-ups of the swatches and I also wanted to include a close-up of the palette outside. That way you could see it in natural light. I thought that would be very beneficial and helpful so you could kind of see it more true to color because in my opinion it looked a little different once I got it in person. So this bad boy retails for $90. Now I do know of a discount code I will put down below in my description box in case you want to pick this up and you want to save some money. It ultimately helped pay for shipping in a way. I think I got it for $86. So a little bit of savings. Not bad. Not bad at it because I definitely wanted to pick this one up. So I'm sure you are all have like seen this palette. You are aware. They have three different color stores this year and they have four different palettes so you can customize and kind of mix and match and see which one which first of all which packaging you like best so I got the jellyfish but they also have the leopard they also have an owl and they also have a snake packaging but I like the jellyfish and I honestly this pat this color story was the best for my skin complexion so before we jump into me like doing the demo I uh, first, I have the Sculpture Palette. I got this three years ago, and this bad boy I use almost every single day. That's why I got the new one. I absolutely adore the formulation of these powders. They look amazing on me. Now, the color, this bronzer in here, it's just too warm and too red-leaning, but I have hit pan in this one, this one. I hit pan in this bronzer and these two blushes, so ultimately, I did get lots of use out of this one, and I've almost hit pan in the highlighter, so not mad at it, and obviously, it's definitely been well-loved. Now, this this is the one, it's not last year's palette, it's the year before, so two years ago I picked up this one. This is the Light Edit Universe Ambient Palette, and this is what it looks like. The only one that I hit pan on is obviously this large one right here. I love their setting powders, and this one has more of a glowy effect to it, but now I want to hold them up all like stacked up so you can kind of see even this one like this bronzer's too orange on me the blushes are very pigmented so they looked a little clownish on me and the highlighter was beaming so this one was for those days that I really wanted a pop in face you know like it wasn't it wasn't like something simple so I'm going to kind of stack these all up so you can see them up close and personal because Guys, it was like almost immediate regret. I hate to say that, but these are really expensive. So let me just hold them all up and I think you're going to see exactly what I mean. Like, ugh. okay, I'll just show you. I feel like a clown. Like, are you serious? I think the first one was like 70 something dollars and then it jumped up to 80 something dollars and then the new one was 90 so this will probably be my last year buying one of these unless next year they're like they give me like a peachy blush and maybe like an even cooler tone bronzer they might get me then but these three palettes look almost identical so I just want to show you that save you some time and some money if you're like nope there is no way that I need that palette so without further ado I'm going to zoom you in and we can get started with today's demo. So it is currently, let me see exactly the time. It is 11.57 p.m. So if I'm looking a little sleepy, that is why it's been one of those days, man, when you're just like, what else is going to go wrong? So I have been wanting to film with this since... I think I got this third Wednesday or Thursday, and I have been trying every day, but I haven't found the time. So first, I'm going to go in with the two setting powders. This is honestly always what sells me on the palettes. These powders right here, they're just so magical, so I'm just kind of like setting what I have going on. Now, my makeup has been on a long time, but I tried to like reapply everything, but you can kind of see a little bit of bronzer, but for the most part, I have a bare face, so I just wanted to set what I've already touched up. This pow these powders for me, they make me feel more confident. They don't, I would say, enhance wrinkles. They don't just look like crepey, you know, that powder effect. They, you could layer on all day long and you're never going to get that. So maybe if you have mature skin and you're more self-conscious, maybe try like a mini, one of their setting powders. And I'm just like on a sale. And see if you like them because it really was a game changer for me. I was someone who never wanted to set my face ever. And then once I tried these powders, I was like, okay, maybe I can do that. <laughs> okay. Now I want to go with the bronzers and something about Hourglass, their bronzers typically 
are always so warm toned on me or reddish toned. They just always look a little unnatural. But as far as like the formulation, they always look beautiful. So it's like a struggle. I'm just going to build this one up. Okay, so kind of like my first impressions. Oh, I have a pimple. Just ignore that. It's been, I'm telling you, I've been stressed, guys. Just based off my first impressions, this is way more cool tone than the other two I have. So I definitely think I'll get a lot more use out of this one. For reference, I love, I'm very fair. So I love a cool tone bronzer. I don't want it to be gray, but almost gray, you know? <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. It's still a little warm, so it doesn't look as, I would say, natural on me. But it's still beautiful compared to the others where typically those bronzers, I'll use the palettes almost daily. But the bronzers, I can only use those in summertime. So it's kind of a downside to that, unless I'm self-tanned. But let's be real, I don't do that often. I'm too busy. <laughs> it was just with life. But anyways, so, so far I'm liking this bronzer shade better than the other two. Makes me feel a little bit better about spending this much money. Because whenever I opened it, I just felt sick to my stomach. I'm not going to lie because they looked identical. So I'm just going back into the setting powder. I have my hair. My hair is falling out. I have postpartum hair loss and it's everywhere. So I'm just going back in with the setting powders now to kind of help blend out any harsh edges with that bronzer. That's my secret. That's what helps me. Oh, I just love, I love their powder formula. Sorry if my face is just not looking the best. I'm trying out an old favorite foundation and I don't know if I'm still in love with it anymore. Oh, I hate it when that happens. So I'm just cleaning my brush. Now it's time to go in with the two blush shades. These marble embossings always get me. So they have a baked formulation and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Okay, first I'm going to go in with this coral one. I do have another coral blush from them. And it's so pigmented. Uh, so I'm kind of nervous about this one. Alright, this one's going to go over here. Okay. That is way more sheer than the other one. So if you have... I would say light, medium. I would say medium. This palette's not even going to show up just because this blush. It's beautiful for my skin tone, but I'm still having, having to build it up. Alright, I'm going to clean my brush again. Now I'm going to go with the more rosy toned. Mm, it's so pretty. I just typically mix these on a day-to-day -day basis, but for the video, I wanted to show you what they look like on each cheek. And then I will mix them together. But essentially, you tell me. Do you see a difference? Because once you get them on the face, they look the same. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it like that so you can kind of see the differences throughout the rest of my video. But they look the same to me. Just being honest, real, giving you my first impressions, you know. Alright, I'm going to go in with this highlighter. This one has more pink to it. I will say, typically I'm not someone who likes pink, but hey, I'm down to try it. So this one, it's not like a super metallic. It looks like a beautiful lit within glow. But something I like about their formulation, you can build it up and get the pigmentation that you desire. And it looks natural because their powders just melt into the skin effortlessly. So, oh goodness, I think I picked up a lot. Because that's more than a lit within glow beautiful. All right, I'm going to go in a little bit softer over here. So you, you can go in with just a little bit or you can build this baby up and it will be blinding. By the way, I do have a cold. <laughs> so if I'm stuffy, that is why. Uh, now I'm going to go back in with the setting powders and just kind of blend on top of everything that we just did. Go over here. And then I'm going to zoom you out and give you kind of like my first impressions on this palette, what I think about it, all that good stuff. But here's a close-up of the face. Let me know what you think down below. Okay, so let me just start off by saying the packaging, whenever they revealed the animal prints, I was very unsure because they didn't look as crisp as they did last year. Like the butterfly, the 
uh, what else? The elephant and the tiger pelt. Those images, like the animals, I love animals, so I was all here for it. But they looked very high quality. And this year's, I was a little unsure, so they just looked a little off in a way. But this one, I must say, in person, it looks beautiful and crisp and high quality. And this is the heavy packaging. Oh, sorry if that was loud. Versus like the cheap light packaging. So I do like that it's heavy. Um, but please let me know if you did get the leopard packaging, owl um let's see what else or the snake if the image is very crisp let me know in the comments that way every you'll, you'll help everyone else out but for me i just wanted to note that because at first i was like that does not scream luxury <laughs> you know what i'm saying and also i wanted to note that the lid it, it doesn't stay up on its own it falls so I'm just being nitpicky. That's just, it's very important for me to tell you the pros and the cons because if you like a palette where maybe if you're getting ready for work and you're like, you know, at a red light, like trying to slap it on your face and like the lid keeps falling, who knows, whatever you're going through life, if you need a lid to stay up, this is not going to stay up for you. So let's just talk about the formulation now. 10 out of 10, I love the formula. That's why I paid so much money for this palette. But honestly, I must say, when I opened it the very first time, it was initial, like, immediate regret. And yes, I feel like a clown for spending more money on another palette. So going forward, to kind of, like, wrap up this video and my thoughts. Sorry if it's so short today, but it is what it is. So since I do have two palettes from the brand, I will, well, now three I didn't need this one, but this one is going to be my favorite out of the three because this color story just looks better on me for like fair skin. It just looks more natural in a way, whereas these, the bronzers just kind of killed it for me. It just wasn't, it wasn't it. So going forward, it's kind of sad because this is always my most anticipated like I'm always so hyped up for their holiday palettes every year because I use them every day but I must say next year I'm not I'm probably not going to pick it up unless they give me like fair skinned people we like peach blushes orange blushes like we like different tones other than pink you know what I mean I don't know just my opinion and I feel like if they don't give me a super cool tone bronzer or some other blush shade other than pink, I'm going to skip it because I don't need anything else. So going forward, I will just buy a, because I love these palettes specifically for those setting powders. I'll just buy a single setting powder instead of spending $90 and Lord knows how much they're going to go up next year. And honestly, they have three palettes, like the color story, they have three different palettes well, the medium, it's like the, this is the lightest one, and then you have the more medium-toned one. I'll pop up a picture, and then you have, like, the deepest one, and it's like, we don't, that's all you have. Like, I have friends that they say, like, they can't even buy a palette because the shades don't even, uh, like, work on their skin tone. Like, why couldn't they, th this is $90. Yes, I know they give, like, 5% of the proceeds, but why couldn't they have done another palette or like another like two other palettes with like deep rich reds or like beautiful purple berries or like well, you know something else a little bit deeper like the palettes aren't gonna work for everybody you know what I mean so if you have fair skin I would say get this obviously and then if you have light to medium obviously get the one in the middle and then tan to deep maybe get the snake palette but I don't know. I'm kind of bummed. I must say, like, this is my favorite palette that I have from them. But it's kind of silly to purchase any more because y'all saw me compare all three up close. They look the same, essentially. Now, this one does perform better on my skin tone. But those are kind of, like, all of my thoughts for y'all. I do hope we see more palettes in the future. And for, like, different, different skin tones, we need deeper palettes. I feel like every year people say that and it's like you're such a luxury brand, like, you got, you got the budget for that, you know what I'm saying, um, and then another thing I hope that we see are different blush shades, um, yeah, it's just a little redundant, to say the least, but I am happy with my purchase, <sighs> but next year, um, I'm just kind of like, kind of like Pat McGrath, have y'all seen the holiday release, I'll pop it up, um, no, not for me, <laughs> so this is another one where it's kind of like, I have three. I'm not gonna need. I'm not gonna need a fourth one unless it just like knocks my socks off. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't get me wrong. I love the palette. I love the formulation. 
I'm just keeping it real with y'all because I don't want you to spend $90 unless you hear all my pros and cons with the formulation. I love it. This is why I bought the palette. I love it so much. And I love the jellyfish. I'm a beach girl at heart, so it makes me happy. And I'm very happy that this color story works good on my fair skin. So do I recommend this palette to you? I would say if you do not own any hourglass palettes and you want to try the formulation and the color stories work for your skin tone then I would say go for it because I think everyone should try out their formulation at least once kind of see how old they like it because it's my favorite powder formulation I love it that much um but if you have one or two like me skip it <laughs> just don't even unless you need a cooler bronzer but at the end of the day it's not too much cooler it's more of like a neutral bronzer so i just wanted to let you know who i would recommend this palette to and who i would say skip it honey and save your money but please let me know down below your thoughts on the palettes the color stories how many do you have um did you skip it are you getting it are you waiting for a sale because this is going to other retailers i picked it up on the hourglass website but this will be at all, you know, Sephora, Ulta, all of those places here shortly, if not already. But that's going to do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.